I said, what's good, Ring Fit Nation? What's good, Ring Fit Nation? How are you guys doing? So, I was scrolling Twitter, like I usually do, and I seen that Nintendo has finally announced the long-awaited upgrade to the Switch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys are following me on Twitter at RingFit24. Anyway, so um, I've seen this article from IG and pardon me, IG, and we have a Switch upgrade coming out. A bigger screen, enhanced audio, but none of the rumored performance improvements seemingly. Now, right? I read the article. If you guys want to read the article, I will link it in the description section down below. But that is not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the fact that um, people really thought that we was going to get... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really thought Nintendo was going to make a 4K like handheld for for one a four does a 4K handheld even exist? Two, you guys thought that Nintendo was going to improve the dock so that when you put the Switch into it, it'll play in 4K. Nintendo, Nintendo. We talking about when the Wii came out, they were still using component cables. And for those of you who are too young to know what component cables are, that is the red, the yellow, and the white. And that was the standard for like, like decades. Like, yeah, I thought that company was going to come out with a 4K upgrade for their console. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Nintendo don't care about graphics. Nintendo don't care about performance. Now, I'm with you guys, right? I just wanted to say that. I Like, you know how great it would be for us to have an upgraded version of the Nintendo Switch that included, you know, 4K, even 1080p. Like, the Switch we got now only plays in 720 from what I know. Matter of fact, no, it plays in 720 on the dock. I mean, on the um, handheld and 1080p on the dock, pardon me, I'm sorry. But, I would have loved an upgrade. I would have loved the upgrade too as well. I mean, listen, don't get it wrong, bro. I would have loved to have an upgrade, but we talking about Nintendo here, okay? For one, Nintendo has a loyal fan base, which means that whatever crap they put out, people are going to defend it and people are going to buy it. In fact... People are defending this upgrade. Now, what does this upgrade consist of? Um, I think the screen is bigger by like 0.7, right? It, it's, it's, it's bigger by like 0.7. Uh, and it has better audio. So, I mean, but at, but at the same time, right? You don't have to buy it. It's not like... You have to buy it, you know. Um, but I'm myself personally. I don't have no plans of buying it. I, I don't. It's a waste of money to me, you know. Like the dock comes with um, what's the what is it? Um, a um a, a Ethernet um port on it. What? <laughs> <coughs> So we waited all this time, right, Nintendo, for you guys to put an Ethernet port on the dock, which we should have had that from the beginning. But anyway, um, like I said, man, like people, people are very unhappy, and I want to get into the comments. I don't want to play the announcement trailer because Nintendo be very anal about people using that content on their channels, and I don't have, I don't have the patience to deal with Nintendo, nor the money. So. But if you guys, like I said, I'm going to link it in the description. Me personally, um, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised in the slightest by this. Um, I think that 
You know, Nintendo does never... Nintendo has a, has had a history of not caring about graphics and performance. They mainly focus on the software. You know, they don't really care about graphics and performance. When Sony and Microsoft were going HD, Nintendo was still doing AV. When Nintendo finally did HD, Sony and Microsoft were going 4K. Like, Nintendo has never cared about graphics, like, ever. They just never cared about it. And for you guys to just expect Nintendo to change that now, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like was like hoping, but yeah, <clears throat> Nintendo doesn't care, bro. And like I said, there are people who is defending this. Me personally, I think it's trash. I think it's a terrible upgrade. It's horrible, and I wouldn't waste my money on it. But there are going to be people who's going to buy it because they support Nintendo just that much. So, and that's part of the reason why Nintendo gets away with what they get away with, because there are people who is going to support them no matter what. People are, are going to and continue to encourage, encourage Nintendo to do this kind of stuff by supporting it. And it's like, what can you do? Just going to make people not buy Nintendo products? Like I said, the Switch we have now, like the Switch they have that they're calling an upgrade should have been the Switch that we got at launch. But whatever, it's Nintendo. Like I, that's I don't know what else to say. Like that is Nintendo. That's Nintendo in a nutshell. That's their mo. They don't. They like I said. They don't care about graphics, upgrade. They don't care about that kind of stuff. That's not what they do. They mainly focus on their software. And honestly speaking, Nintendo has some great games, and that is what they are known for. That's their bread and butter. Some of their games are great. Majority of them I can't stand. But that's just me personally. I'm not really a big Nintendo guy. I don't hate Nintendo. I love all game companies, but I'm not really. I play like I can count on like one hand how many Nintendo games I play personally. Like, you know, so. But as far as their hardware is concerned, their hardware has been and probably always will be a step behind everybody else, and that is how Nintendo rolls. Nintendo does not care. You guys are talking about a company that just just doesn't care like you know they do not care about keeping up with the latest technology they don't care about that they only care about creating family friendly games for the most part and giving you experiences that you can only get on Nintendo products but I do want to get into some of these comments because the comments was hilarious um <coughs> this cough is annoying very honest Nintendo fan here, but Xbox is better in every way, I guess. Um, honestly, it's not a master of better. Uh, Nintendo has a monopoly on several game series, and, and they know if you want to play those with some experience, you have to buy whatever console they have released. That's all I'm just saying. Like, they don't have to compete with Sony and Microsoft. I was just saying that. Like, they have certain experiences that you can only experience on Nintendo products. I was just saying that. Um... When do people care so much about 4K displays when it comes to Nintendo? It's always been the gameplay rather than graphics, which more people should care about. Yep. I agree with that, but I do not agree with... I mean, I, I kind of agree. You know, you don't want to have a good-looking game, and but the gameplay is terrible. So, I, I yeah, I can agree with that. But you want the game to also look good. At least look decent. Nintendo doesn't even care about that. Since 55 to 65 inch TVs are pretty much thinner now, 720 doesn't look nice at all on the big screen. It doesn't have to be 4K, but seriously, 1080p is the bare minimum. Like, what year are we living in? We're talking about Nintendo here. And the dock plays at 1080p when you dock it. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, How does Nintendo get away with absolute bare minimum? Still 720p, and a new model doesn't enhance performance. Literally, what's the point? I agree. I agree. I agree. I just want, he, and he put, like, a uh, upgrade machine, which have... Uh-huh. But yeah, I agree. That, that, that's it. All right, this is it right here. Right? This is the upgrade. This is it. It just features a 7-inch OLED screen, a wider adjustable base stand, enhanced audio, 64 gigabytes. <coughs> pardon me, the stupid cough. 64 gigabytes of eternal storage and a wired LAN port on the dock. That is it. That is it. No performance upgrades, no graphic upgrades, nothing. That is it. Literally, that is why I'm not buying it. It's a waste of money. 
But like I said, Nintendo's gonna have people who's gonna defend it. But that is it in a nutshell. That's it. That's that's it. That is it right there. More um you get 32 gigabytes of more space, which other consoles are doing one terabyte, but whatever. Um, you get a seven-inch OLED screen. You get enhanced audio, whatever the f that means, and you get a wired LAN on the dock. Yep, and that is it. No performance upgrades, no graphic upgrades, nothing. Anyway, why I thought that Nintendo would release some more powerful systems beyond me? They're using tech from 2001. Wii is a souped-up. GameCube, we you is the HD, we and the Switch is just when Nintendo wanted the Wii U to be. How y'all shocked? <laughs> Not mad at that. I can kind of agree to that, man, for sure. Um, the OLED screen does sound nice, but I don't think it's worth the wait. The current Switch is more than capable, right? It's the same thing. It's the same. It's literally the same thing. It just have a OLED screen, enhanced audio, and a built-in uh wired port, wired dock. I mean wired. Um, land part on the dock, pardon me. My English is terrible. But that's pretty much it. Like, that is it, bro. Like, this literally, that's it. Not much of an upgrade, just a slightly bigger screen. That's it, bro, with double the storage. Better surface style kickstand, better battery life. Even that port built to the dock and improved speakers will go off. See, look, see what I mean? People like this Nathaniel dude is going to defend Nintendo. No matter how much, no matter what crap they put out, people like this guy is going to defend Nintendo no matter what. This would he, he's an, this comment right here is an example of what I'm talking about. You know, even when people are ragging on Nintendo, there's going to be people who's going to look for the good and then use that good to defend Nintendo. But that's not enough. That is not enough to to, to justify coming out with a new system. I mean, an upgrade. That's not enough. That isn't. When you're looking at what Sony and Microsoft are doing, that is not enough. But at the same time. Nintendo does not compete with them directly, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's not enough. Wait, so it doesn't improve in performance? What the, what's the point? Bigger, nice screen with more stable stand for those of you who don't already own the Switch. Seems pretty simple to understand for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, a bigger, nicer screen. That is, that, that's reason. Okay, I, I can give you that. With a more stable stand, that's your defense of Nintendo, a more stable stand. Yeah, okay. Oh my God, people! Like I said, people are going to defend Nintendo no matter what. I think it's crap. I think it, I think it's a trash upgrade. Me personally, like I said, I'm not wasting my money on it. It's trash. It's, it's crap. Um, then maybe the stick won't drift. It. That's another thing too. The Joy Cons, the drift on the Joy Cons. Hopefully, they don't have that drift right with the upgrade. That probably that'll probably be the only reason why I would buy it if. If I can get like a uh, system uh, like the Joy Cons when it don't like that that don't drift, maybe. Anyway, um, there was th this was zero chance. Let's be honest, PS5 barely had FPS boost just recently. No chance Nintendo catches up this quick, right? It's Nintendo. Nintendo don't like Nintendo ain't gonna catch up on Sony, no Xbox. Um, no 4K or improved processing power. Pass. I agree. You really thought the Switch would be able to do 4K? By the way. You need a 4K TV to, duh, who don't know that? $300 for a screen that's half an inch bigger. <laughs> oh my God, this one is funny. This one is so true, bro. $350, $350, no need to thank me. Yeah. Oh God, bro. Literally thank it with weather technology. Stop asking for things Nintendo never does. Nintendo, that's funny. New processor again, really asking for a new processor. 2021 pandemic, scalper chip shortage. Like I said, people are always going to defend Nintendo. But he he's right. He is right, though. If, if I'm being fair, he's right. He is right. Like, with the pandemic and the scalpers and with the chip shortage and everything, that's the reason why we haven't had that many PS5s and Xboxes. Well, there's a lot more Xboxes than PS5s. But that's why we, we, we really hasn't had that many um, gaming console is because of uh, the chip shortage, so that is, that is true. People don't look at Nintendo history. Their last, this, their last revision before the big, big one, the GB received backlight later that same year. The GBA came out, GBA 101 came out, and, and later, boom, DS within a year, DS XL just um, came out to be ashamed of the 3DS a year later. Yeah, that's true. I guess that is true. A little history lesson. 
This turned out badly. Only an OLED screen. PS Vita beat you to that, right? Right. I forgot all about the Vita. Oh God, I forgot about the Vita. Anybody? Anybody remember the Vita? Wow, the Vita definitely did beat them to that. That is true. <laughs> <coughs> that is true. I forgot about that. Better battery, uh, faster processor, 4K video in dock. That would have been. That was what we wanted. No, wait, um, OLED um, display screen and a better stand, which they should have done in the first place. Pass. <laughs> right. I'm going to like that one. That is right. Pass. Pass. Right. Nintendo will always have a couple of franchises that are amazing, and that's key fans coming back despite subpar hardware and non-existent online platform. That is true. Very true. I was just saying that. Very true. But, um... I don't want to go through all of these. I don't want. I don't want to make this video too long. But like I said, me, me personally, myself personally, I have no plans on buying this. Let me know in the comment section. Do you plan on buying this? I don't have no plans on buying it at all. Like literally, I don't. I'm, I'm not buying this. But there are going to be people who do, and there are people who's going to defend it. I think it's. A, I think it's a terrible upgrade. It's trash. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and. I'll see you guys in, in, in the next video, man. You guys be good like how you be good. Subscribe for more, all that good YouTuber stuff. And I'll see y'all later.